Hello and welcome back to another lesson with our uh, product design. So last week we made several logos that uh, all kind of uh, incorporate with some physical deliverable products, right? In the first one we made a coffee logo, and the second one we made something for a national park that we're going to, or state park that we're going to be using for some like stuff that we can give out for a state park. For the next one we're going to be doing a series, or for for the for the night for this week we're going to be doing a series of actual like templates little cutout templates. So I've got this little guy here. Let's see what I got right here. Um, this right here is essentially a like coffee bag. If you were to imagine like, you know, if, if you uh, ever see your parents like make their coffee in the morning or if you've seen like, you know, for sale in the Kroger or whatnot, the sort of um, coffee bag that has like the sort of uh, folded up top to it and then and then you can kind of like you know kind of put piece together it and stuff so in this case there are no real cuts I don't believe it's all just you know um, uh, one solid piece but you just fold it artfully and then you kind of glue it together um, so uh, what we're gonna be doing is designing this and so in this case we've got our front right here we'll put a logo and we've got our sides we'll put some like you know little little flavor you know things like that and then we've got our back which we'll put like our story here so I'm gonna um, go ahead and go to my open from Gravit cloud option under the Gravit designer here and I'm gonna find my coffee mug logo it's gonna open up here. So I've got this in this case. Um, right now, this is what, like 2,000 pixels tall. That's fine, I guess. Um, we'll zoom out some. Maybe six, I think 6% is the, is, the, is the most we can zoom out. So I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to like shrink this down a good deal. So I'm gonna shrink this down some. Oops. Okay, I have my pointer selected. There we go. Mm. Cool, neat. And this is a bit too thick now, so let's see if I can find these here. Compound path, compound path, compound shape. Okay, pull the stroke down some. There we go. Cool, you can find it over here. You can locate what you need um, over there. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, grab all this, and I'm just gonna go over here to my modify, and I'm gonna go to group selection, just so I have this group here. Um, okay, so in this case, what we'll do is um, we'll go over here to our little button here for our pictures, and um, you should have downloaded that little um, that little guy, that little uh, picture of your um, um, of the of the document there of the shall we say it downloads. So it downloads. Uh, one X, one X, copy guy. Can I give that a second to populate in here? There it is. Cool. All right, we can just make this a bit bigger. So right now it's 6 to 12, so we can make it a bit bigger. All right, so yeah, all right, good. So it's about 2,000 pixels wide. Um, okay, so what we'll do now is we'll uh, just control shift down to make that down on the bottom, and we'll position this to where our logo is in the center, uh, and maybe a little bit smaller here. And uh, let's uh, think back to the font we used. And I don't recall the font exactly that I used. But what we'll do is we'll um, we'll just kind of think of the font we used, <clears throat> and what we'll do is we'll name the coffee brand and we'll describe it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call my coffee brand something. Let's think here. What what what? So for instance, <coughs> <clears throat> all right, you won't be you won't be hearing from me for very long. Um, all right, so let's find um, find a new font. Oh, we can find a new font. We can set the same font here. Let's look. Um, Manuel, no, no, what's this here? What I think we'll do is we, we may just um, choose a different font here just to, you know, maybe like uh, do something um, different. So I'll, I'll find, I'll find a, um, I'll find something a little more like a sensory font here. Here's a good one. Here, Chelsea Market, that's fine. Okay, here we go. So we'll call this, so um, let's think here. Let's let's come up with a theme. So mine says whistle and mug, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna have my um, my dark roast. Um, so let's think here. So this is a dark roast. So you can call it, so you can see like medium roast, house blend, whatever like that. You can call it different different kinds of coffee roasts. Um, name your coffee, and so name it something that has to do with your name. So let's think, if I were to like talk about, um, maybe we're whistling here, so maybe there's a tune. So how about like, doot. 
Doot Dark Roast. Okay, so there's, there's me, right? So I've chosen this as my name. You choose something different. Don't copy me. Let's just make the size a bit bigger. 36. Uh, 60. And we'll just sort of position this right here. I wonder if I can just overlay everything. Can I? Yeah. There's the two center there. Okay, and then we'll we'll, uh, we'll give a little uh, description of it here. The description of what we said, Mike. Um, this is like a uh, pleasing taste taste with notes of chestnut and coriander. So I don't know if that's a thing that actually happens in coffee sometimes, but hey, whatever, right? And then we'll just make this a bit bigger. So describe it, whichever way you want. Don't copy me. And we'll center this. Pleasing. Robust. Taste. Those are notes that those are those are words you use sometimes when it comes to describing coffee. Uh, okay, so um, let's do this. Now we're here. Um, what we'll do for the side is um, we'll have like maybe for instance. Well, what we'll do is we'll um, maybe for instance for the side you can come up with a series of let's look here maybe like nutritional facts. So maybe we can kind of just come up with something like I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Well, let's um. We'll come back to that. How about this? What we'll do is this. We'll we'll on the back. What we'll do is we'll um, give a little story about who we are. So let's do this. Let's make up like fifty words or fifty to hundred words about who we are. So let's take here about whistling mug. About. So let me get closer here. What do I do? About whistle and mug, and so I could just take this guy and just make it a bit bigger. Make this about seventy points or so. Okay, and so in this case, you're gonna create a little story about uh, your um, about your coffee company about why it's called what it's called, right? So why is it called that? And let's come up with something. Because uh, we're creative, you know, we're gonna get creative here, right? So let me just pull this out like this. And I'll just say, um, let's go bigger here, like 36 points. Here we go. Um, and, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Begins in the year 2020 in a little small Irish village. The local shepherd boy would play his whistle to lead the sheep. One day he played his whistle so well the flowers bloomed and a month early and the barley harvest was plentiful was <laughs> was plentiful that year whistle and Mug Brand has used that. Brand has continued playing the beautiful pipe music as we roast our beans 
to ensure the magic of the Highlands <laughs> is taste <laughs> in each cup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, yeah, so it could be something as patently ridiculous as what I just wrote. Okay, so I just kind of came up with that. Um, all right, so I'll just take these and just sort of center these a little bit here. Oops, so. And maybe nudge it over a little bit here. And then maybe on the side, uh, we can put a couple things like, um, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, Brewing instructions. So in this case, we can just write a few brewing instructions. If you want to look that up, you can look that up for, uh, and you can just you can put something in there. But make sure it looks nice. For best results, we suggest a pour over brewing method. Make Sure, your water has is at least one hundred and ninety degrees. It's like here. Um hundred and degrees. I'm looking at my character map. If I'm a degree here. Where's the degree? Here it is. Select copy. Paste. Oops. Before pouring, I'm saving here on this. Um, one point seven cups of water per tablespoon of grounds is the recommended is best twenty five. Calories per seven. Each bag contains seven servings of coffee. Okay. And so, uh, yeah, that's all. That's basically all you, all you really need here. And on the on the side here, we can just kind of leave the other side blank. All right, so fun. All right, let me just make this a bit bigger here. I'll make this about three, three, four. Oh, wait, whoops, so. Uh, it's bold. So I'll just make this one a bit bigger, 36. All right, cool. Okay, so. <clears throat> Once again, um, your description and all that other stuff should be like the brew instructions could probably be you know pre pretty much the same as mine. Um, if you wanted to do something a bit different, you could. If you are, but for as far as, far as this stuff goes, um, so here we go. We're just thinking about layouts this is the big thing we're thinking of here. So imagine this being you know printed off and then being cut up and being folded and stuff. So if I were to go ahead and file save, I'm just going to export this as a JPEG. Here. Just double check that I got everything I need here. I'm going to file export. JPEG image, and I'm going to call it coffee co coffee bag. Now let's see what this looks like now. Okay, that's kind of okay. That's cool. I'm going to print this off, and I'm going to see what it looks like, and I'll show you guys in the next video. Very cool. All right, okay. We'll see you guys produce. See y'all around. Hmm. Ah.